Hello YouTube, today, this is Blue Cookie One. Today I'm gonna show you how to be able to see and um, like almost use an iPod Touch or iPhone on your computer. It's like an emulator, but um, not exactly. All right, first what you want, first what you have to have is a jailbroken iPod or um, uh, what's it called, an iPhone. With um with wireless connection for both your computer and your um iPod iPod uh, iPhone. First off, I'm gonna open up my web browser. All right, you can go to this website here. Don't worry, I'm gonna put it in the description, so no no need to worry about that. It's called Tight VNC right here. All right, you wanna you wanna download that. <clears throat> I'm gonna save it wherever you want to save it, wherever you want to save it. So, yeah, I've already got it there, so I'm not going to do it. I'm not gonna download because I've already got it. So, I'm just gonna show you. Yeah, this is what it's gonna be. You have to um, start it up. Say run. It's gonna install it, but I'm see. So just say okay, next, next, next. Then I'm um, say next, next. Then just just keep it like that. And when it comes here, I'm, I just then hit install, but I'm not going to because I've already installed it. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. I, I've already got it, so I don't need to install. Just hit install, let it install. It's just gonna take a minute or two, All right? Then you have to look on your desktop. I mean, your um, your start menu. Go to all programs, and then it'll be somewhere there. See that? I've got it right there. It's going to type VNC viewer. So um, yeah. So this is going to be. Uh, this is you're going to need to have you know your IP address for your internet connection, your Wi-Fi IP address. So um, first off, I'm going to show you what you had to do on your iPod to get it. So I'm gonna cut the video and turn it into a um so you can see my iPod itself. Okay, bye. Right, here's my iPod. So um see I'm gonna I'm improving it to to my iPod, my iPod touch your false turn. As you can see the iPod. Let's put the camera on the back and on the front. So I'm telling you, I'm just, just proving it to you this is the iPod for fourth generation. Alright, so first I'm gonna unlock it. Right. So first, what you're gonna want to do is go to Cydia. Sorry, it's taking a bit. Yep. All right. So then go to search. And then and the, and, and the search back up there. I'll just put. V and C. Right? Yep. There you go. V and C. So hit search. And then there'll only there'll only be one. It's called Vinci. So just wait. Alright? See that one right there? It's called Vinci. Like that. I've already installed it, so I'm not gonna do it again. But all you have to do is it's free, so just hit install and finish installing it. After you've done that, there's only um, pretty much only one more step to do. So then go back to go to settings. All right. And this is then um see this is your IP address. I'm not going to show it. Okay. But you want to take down the take down the IP address. And then um, I'm, I'll show you what you had to do on the computer with this address. All right. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you what you have to do. So previously I just now showed you on the camera that um how you how to get the Vinci and um you've already downloaded the Vinci and you you've got your IP address. So now here you're just gonna type in your IP address, and connect. Then I'm um, I'll just show you what what you had to do next. So now that um. I sent the request. This request has come on my iPod. All right. So, um, what do you what you can do with this is like be able to control the screen of your iPod or iPhone on your um 
from your computer and as well from your iPod or iPhone. Play the games that you have on your iPod or iPhone and all that kind of stuff. Alright, so I'm just going to hit accept. And, and now as you can see, that. after I hit accept, this gigantic screen is right there in the middle of my computer screen. As you can see, this is my iPod. Alright? But um, I'll find, I'll try to look for how I can make it, maybe make it smaller. But what happens if I try to like do like this, if this happens? See? <laughs> now it's kind of like, like the iPod Nano. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Yeah, so um, I don't want that. So I'm just going to put it back open like this. I'm going to prove it to you. I can control it from both my iPod Touch and from the computer itself. So as you can see, can you see that little dot right there that's moving around circles? Yeah. So, yeah. So that's going to be like, that's kind of like your finger in on this virtual iPod. So okay, look at that. See? Oops. Let's drag it on like that. Uh, and then another one again. Yeah, things. And then again. And then as you can see here, you can even you can even access Cydia. If you're not so sure. So like this. Look at that. There, Cydia as well. I've got all my games that I downloaded from um Cydia and all the all that kind of things. So you, for example, I will even play Ninja up and show you. It's still work. It's going to take a few seconds. Yeah, yeah, Black Bat Studios. Okay, do hurry up! Get the thing. Ah, wait. What the? No, I do not want that. Oops. Good. Oh, you can't see it. Okay, so what well, looks like for some games and all that, you may not be able to see what's actually um, happening. But yeah, I'm playing it on my iPod. I'm just gonna quit. So the quit, yeah. See? But yes, you can play. It's gonna be a little difficult, but yes, you still can play games and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, so for example, virtual version yeah so um, that's that's one that kind of a big difficulty which is not, that's just kind of not, that kind of bums it out so yeah but otherwise you can do pretty much everything else on it so like I have to I put it at that this you can pretty much view it because it's just pictures literally just pictures see so it's like you've got your um yeah, uh, remind me later. Yeah, so you've got like um, all these Pokemon things. Like, see, so I can, for example, get Caterpie. So I've got all the things about Caterpie and what and whatnot, all that kind of stuff. So now I'm just going to quit. And I'm going to show you that I can actually move around with it even without using the mouse. So, um, all right, here we go. So now I'm gonna show you that I can um, control both the, um, the iPod that's on my computer and the iPod, my real iPod, with just my iPod itself. So I'm gonna suggest the clarity. Or if it's very blurry. Yeah, that's good. 
so you can see so look at this right if I so right now the screen's like that right so I'm just gonna put no, just one sec just gonna move oops right over there all right so you should be able to view both so if I do that see I'm gonna do that and that and that so I can go into settings from here I'm going to go to settings from here see scrolling up sorry scrolling down it's scrolling down here as well so as you can see the Vinci things right there alright so I'm going to hit the home button there you go so, um, oh, and this icon right here, right there, right next to the, uh, um, next to your battery, this one, these, a sign right there, it's just saying that Vinci is active. Oh, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so, as you can see, I'm just telling you that Vinci can be activated even like this. Oh, you can't really see it, can you? Sorry about that. So, as I show you right here, alright? It's notes. I can that. And it does it here. I do that. Same thing happens here. There. There. So, it, 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 it works exactly the same, except for like when you play games which move around too much. Then you may have problems. Alright. So um thank you for watching this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Oh yes, and um please try this out. It is kind it is it was nice.